Okay, so in today's video, you will see that I have been filming with Paul Cowland. He's visited sites with Chris Bentley from MGOC Spares. And yeah, Paul and I did some filming together. It was real good fun. It was awesome to meet both of them. Both of them are really, really good guys. Yeah. It was really good spending the time having a talk with them. Definitely. So you'll have a bit of shooting stars. Urano. Greg. Urano. Urano. Uvavu. Yeah, yeah. Bit of shooting stars. Yeah. <laughs> we show our age. Um, yeah, and then obviously the updates on MG Marshall are to come in this video. Now then, I've cut it there because that's where I'm going to start my music. Right, so anyway, after music, yeah, I might even keep this in. This is good. Is that the music? Feeling the flow, yeah. <laughs> We have an extra guest. Hello. Nick has joined us. It's great Hello. to have you here, darling. <laughs> um, she's hobbling. She's had the operation that you all know about. So I am going to make her sit down quite often, as well as Craig. So although we've got new members, they're both Demics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are. I've, I've been saying this for years, what a defect I am. Yeah, you are. You're not supposed to agree. No, you, you are. You literally are. So we've got two chairs. One this side, that's Craig's. <laughs> and one this side, that's Nikki's. <laughs> but anyway, they've joined, as you know, Craig joined the team um, for M MG Marshall, for Help the Heroes, to get the charity card done. Yeah? Yeah. It's great to have I'm you back. I'm going to put the finishing touches to it. Yeah. And Nikki, obviously, I'm so pleased that you're and, here, uh, sweetheart. What are you I doing? Know. I'm supervising. Oh, just for a change. Supervising, yeah. And helping. Yeah, helping, definitely. Definitely. So, unfortunately, um, the trim wasn't in great condition, but we knew that Nikki and Craig would easily rectify anything that needed doing. Yeah, uh, yeah well, I've just touched this and bits of it are falling <laughs> off here. So, so I, was, I was just thinking then, how am I supposed to do anything with this? You're Craig Hughes. You can do anything. I get, well, I'm... If I was going to do anything with this, I'd have to make new boards to start with. Right, well. The, and then start covering yeah, it. Yeah, but I didn't tell Craig at, I know. The, at the start. Yeah, I so, and, I, and I clocked it when it was coming in. Yeah, so MGOC Spares, they have donated so many parts already for MG Marshall, but they've also now donated a full trim kit, a full carpet set, and uh, what's it? The underlay, is it called? Yeah, underlay, the, underlay. Under, underlay, yeah. <laughs> for the carpet <laughs> yeah <laughs> um what else um for you all oh, the seats so Seat, the foams. foams yeah so you need to get uh, your turkey knife out webbing again turkey knife yeah yeah you is see? that what it's called <laughs> that was called in olden <laughs> yeah get your turkey knife out <laughs> i thought it had been a kebab imagine, knife in olden <laughs> imagine that in the headlines of the news somebody killed with a turkey knife <laughs> It'd be him. Be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We'd do it as well. <laughs> so, anyway, now, you always turn it into a giggle fest. It's great. I love it. Anyway, um, yeah, so we have new seats, new trim, new carpets. Yeah, I noticed new foams as well. Yes. And yeah. new webbing. Yes. Yeah. Everything's there from uh, MGOC Spares. Again, wow. Thank you, MGOC Spares. Thank you. <laughs> it's easy for you to oh. say. That's the shock. That's the was, shock and the appreciation. It was, it was a shock of not having to do as much as what I thought I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get you uh, hands on with extra stuff now because they've made your job so easy. That's right, yeah. I mean, uh, if you want, I've noticed the engine hanging there. If you would like me to put the clutch on and bellhousing and gearbox, I'll do that for you. Really? Yeah, it's only a few bolts. Yeah. Wow. Torque, torque wrench. Yeah. Five minutes. Well, yeah. Have you had your weight to mix? <laughs> no. I had a spam and egg butty. He did. <laughs> Craig had spam. Yeah, yeah, and you loved it, didn't you? What didn't I have on mine that you didn't tell me about? Black pudding. Black pudding. I could have had black pudding. Yeah, but I'm disappointed. 
I gave you the option. Next summer, what do you two want for black breakfast? Puddings on it. Yeah, but you didn't tell me that. You told me everything but black pudding. This is what I've got to do to get Craig here. Bribe me. <laughs> food or <food> beer. <laughs> right, we're on the wiring loom. Now, we're at this angle so you can see just how long the wiring loom is. It's and longer than the car. It literally is. So, yeah, Brent's at one end and I'm at the other. And this job has been massive. You'll probably have seen at the beginning, um, when we first started the wiring, Andy Needham put a few short videos on. Andy did start testing the wiring. Um, it's had to have extensive work. Now, Andy's not here today. He is with Paul because the, the, he's back on the bodywork. Yes. So he's back doing the panels. The panels are currently being prepped and painted as we speak. So, yeah, it's Andy's had to, to leave this job and Brent and even the cameraman um, have been roped in. So you'll know in my previous videos that I don't do car electrics. I've got absolutely no knowledge of it whatsoever and don't wish to. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I rely on Brent and people like Andy and um, the cameraman. And the cameraman. Yeah, and the cameraman um, and Haynes Manuals. Basically. Haynes manuals have been absolutely. brilliant. Absolutely. It's an absolute must. If you've got a classic car, 100%, please get that manual with that car. So, now then, this is ours. This is a godsend. Alongside this, you need it. Yeah, absolutely. You need that knowledge. You need that guidance. You need that help. And I believe they're going digital as well. Yes, uh, digital makes it easier for the modern day, but now you know, we're, we're old. Yeah, yeah. I, I like we, the manuals. But we like hardbacks. <laughs> yeah, it's good that you've got an option between the two. Of course, so it is. That, you know, have a look. It's definitely worthwhile, and it's helped with the build. So definitely. I definitely recommend it. So have a look back at Andy's uh, videos. Um, he did like a short compilation, didn't he? Of yeah, the he was, he was checking with... continuity between wires, making sure you know checking for breaks and stuff before he loomed it. it yeah. Took four rolls of loom tape yeah i for, wanted you to look two. at that so you could see the wiring was in such bad condition wasn't it yeah so to see it like this now is a massive achievement yeah it's... it really is um so look back at those videos but yeah you can see the extent <laughs> i mean brent you're taking over this job now aren't yeah. you completely so i'm 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 going to supervise because i don't do this kind of stuff you know, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I've never been taught. I, I don't know. So what I don't know, I can't help you with, but I am there to learn alongside just, you. So. Just an ex extra pair of hands is great, you know, yeah. feeding it through, getting it through the bulkhead, getting the right path. Yeah. And then everything else, hopefully, you know, should should fit where it should. Yeah. So we should... Uh, you don't sound very confident. No, I am. I'm confident with it. It'll be fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it in. I we'll hope so. So this is the next, one of the next jobs, isn't yes. it? To get the loom in. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. But we're on with the build. Yeah. Awesome. Look who's here. It's me, it's Paul Calland <laughs> from Savage Hunters <laughs> and other shows like Crime March and Revenue Dodgers. Yeah, and um, the secret channels that are on late at night. Yeah. Them ones. Mayo Babe Station. <laughs> yeah. You may have seen my work there. <laughs> Only if you watch your widescreen. Yeah. <laughs> Easy tiger. Now then, Paul's come to see MG Marshall. Yeah, and guys, if you have, look in your wallet now, look at your bank account, do you have £10 spare? I bet you do. Because that's, what's that now? It's like a half a coffee, isn't it, £10? It's <laughs> literally, if, if you yeah. go to Starbucks, you're not going to get much for £10, but you could get, practically, yeah. a brand new MG Midget. Absolutely, and when he says brand new, literally, um, brand new. Everything is being done to MG Marshall is what the car's known as. So look this is what we him. call in the trade a nut and bolter. So this is going back to a bare shell, building everything up, perfectly, beautifully, and actually going above and beyond, going better than it would have been. Yep. When it was at Abingdon, come around here, don't trip over the ramp like I just did. <laughs> and if you look at this, I mean, first of all, the quality of the paintwork is beautiful. You've yep. then got sound editing to this quality, which the factory cars didn't have. Yes. But then talk to us about the bits, and also you're going mild custom. We should talk about the colour, yes. which is not called Urino Grey. Yes. <laughs> what is the colour? <laughs> it's Urano Grey. Urano. Urano. Uvavu. Yeah, yeah. Bit of shooting stars. Yeah. Anyway, um, certain, yeah. certain audience Colour. members will appreciate that reference. Yeah, we're showing our age. I know, we're yeah. quite old now. I'm 50. I'm still wearing shorts. I, I'm not 50. Not yet. Get in there. I'm not, anyway, I'm not yeah. talking about my IQ, by the way. That's my age. <laughs> so, yeah, so you are no grey, yeah, and bumperless. Now, 
Yeah, those lines, Paul, oh. aren't they beautiful? I think they look better without the bumpers. And also, yeah. if you do this, so this is very clever. This is like a 3D printed moulding that goes in. And actually, to me, looks more factory than factory. That's what they should have done. Absolutely. It, I just love the shape of this. And I am guilty for... I've been having a go at the guys, you know? So they, right, yeah. they have moments with these. So, yeah, you can't help it. But the shape, the, the style... Now, it's not finished yet. No. Yeah, there is a design, a very delicate design oh, okay. going on this car. So we're raising money for Help for Heroes. Yeah. So this is going to have a military theme. And we should talk about that. So your £10, because everything you're donating, all your time, the yeah. car was donated. Yes. You're working with loads of wonderful people like MGOC yes. Spares who are Absolutely. giving you loads of stuff. Yeah. Dougal at Longstone has just put some tyres in this morning, yes. hasn't he? Yes. So all of the money that you give isn't going to the restoration because you're donating all of that time and effort. Absolutely. Which is extensive. And this is probably going to be... 30k's worth of car when it's done. Yeah. If you totted up all the bills Absolutely. at retail, this would cost yeah. you 30 grand to build this car. Yes. And you could win it for a tenner and all of the money that you raise goes to help for heroes. So. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We want to support our veterans and their families. You know, they deserve it as well. So we're willing to donate our time. We've got a huge, now, a huge team, you know, volunteers. People are giving up their spare time. And in this day and age, you yeah. know, that's... It's lovely. That's it's what the car community does better than yes. anyone else, isn't it, really? We look after each other. Definitely. So buy tickets. You can do that through PayPal. And where do they go? You've got to tell them where they go. Yeah. So PayPal, paypal.me forward slash autolass. That will take you directly to the page for tickets to buy. Yeah. Yeah. All supporting Help for Heroes. You can get in touch with me on any of my social media platforms. Everybody knows who I am now. Autolass. Oh, I heard that. I should have sneak it in. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> what she said. Um, yeah, social media platforms. You can come on site. You're more than welcome to come on site. You can pay cash. But yeah, that's it. If you want to have a look, yeah. you know, before you pay your whole ten pounds for the potential thirty grand prize, <laughs> and also how many tickets are you selling? Because that's the other thing. This is going to be much better odds than winning the lottery. Don't put ten pound on lottery tickets because you're not going to win, are you? Whereas, how many tickets are these? Well, it depends how. I, I... I can make as many tickets as you want because it's all digitally. That's true. Some but only be people... a few thousand, though, won't it? Yeah, so you're so... going to have one in something thousand. Of course, yeah. of course. But, I mean, some people, you know, the majority of people are buying one or two tickets. Yeah. But we've just had someone buy 20 tickets. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so this car now that the, now it's taking shape, we can see the colour and potentially, I give little hints about the design. Yeah. Yeah. They want this car. It's yeah. unique. I it's want this a car. If I fit it in, yeah. I'm going to buy a ticket anyway, don't get me wrong, but I don't fit in widgets. My legs are too long. I'm more of an MGB kind of guy. But there you go. What can I say? It's a brilliant cause. It's an amazing car. It will only get better and better. Make yes. sure you're following the videos, but more importantly, make sure you've bought a ticket. Yes, please. Thank you. Love you more. <laughs> right, so update. You've had a bit of time to have a look through things. Do you know where you're at? Do you, have, you, have we got a plan? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've looked through all the parts. Yeah. I'm happy with everything we've got. Yeah. Uh, the only thing we are short of is a headrest, um, so we haven't got those. And the steering wheel needs to dress in as well, which Nikki's going to sort all that out. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> I had to do it. Was that your stomach? It was, yeah. <laughs> are you hungry again? You're always eating. I'm thinking of it that. It was a weedy one, wasn't it? You should have... Uh, there you are. <laughs> right, anyway, anyway, go, go, go. Right, okay. So, we were looking at this. And believe it or not, this is like a vinyl. Yeah. Yep. So I think that I possibly could get that really clean. Right. And make it look smart. Okay. Again. Yeah. Right. We're thinking maybe, right, see if this will clean up, but mm -hmm. it is a bit battered. Yeah. And with it being the focus on the car. Yes. I think maybe we might have to respray them. Right. Okay. So that's what I'm toying with at the moment. Okay. And can you see there's overspray? On here, yes. From when somebody's done this, okay. So what I'll do is I'll clean all this, and then I'll colour it so we can get rid of anything like the overspray. Yeah. Um, and then that should look really nice. Perfect. Headrest. Yeah. I took a look at that and I went, yeah, we don't need to replace that. I can totally restore that. Really? Yeah, I can make that look like new again. Perfect. So that's what we're going to go with. So I'm. Um, it looks like I'm gate crashing here. I'm uh, <laughs> going to be doing a bit of work with you and Girl restorations. Power. Girl yes. power. Are we going to keep them all in check? Of course we are. Yeah. Yeah, they all know who bosses. So bribers with cake. Two bosses. Yeah, so two. two bosses. I'll do the upholstery and all the hard work and the boring stuff that I can't do with. 
Nice. She's yeah. got more patience than me. Really? She yeah. must have. She lives with me. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Are you happy with that? I'm really happy with that. What I also want to um, mention here as well is that you're going to be doing your own little bits of filming with this. So you're going to go into the procedures and, you know, the, the things that you use, your yeah. tips. Because obviously yeah. this, we don't do this kind of thing. This is your expertise. Yeah, yeah we'll go into depth with this. Yeah, yeah, so that's going to be on Craig's social media. So please keep your eye on that. Yeah? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I'll, I'll be posting regular updates yes. along with your stuff yeah. on yeah. Twitter yeah. and Instagram or wherever else. Yeah. And then eventually, at some point, I will be doing proper videos for YouTube. Keep your eyes on that. I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Good. You can sit down many an evening and bore yourself to tears. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not looking forward to it as much now. Um, but yeah, it sounds like we've got a plan. Um, Nikki, I'm so glad that you're involved yeah. as much as you are. That's fantastic. Yeah, no um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see you at work. <laughs> <laughs> right, transmission time. Yeah? Yeah, transmission. Um, we're going to try and do each stage just to show you where we're up to and what our plans are. So basically, I'm going to start here. First of all, cameraman, can you just come in here? Look at this flywheel. Our apprentice, Adam, has spent almost two days, bless him, in our blasting cabinet. That isn't new. That is the original flywheel. Everybody has asked us a question that, have you got a new flywheel? He's no. done an amazing job, that, <laughs> He really, really has. Yeah, that is Adam, our apprentice. He's done a cracking job, bless him. He looked like a miner, didn't he? he? Did, yeah. His little mask on and the rest of his face was black because of the media we, we were using. Yeah. Bless him. Thanks, Ad. Well You're done, a Ads. superstar. Well done. So that's that. Clutch has been donated by GSF Car Parts. Borg and Beck Clutch. Obviously, the bearing, everything comes with it. The plate is just fantastic. Thank you again, GSF. Now then, initially, we did say that the transmission, the gearbox, had been sent away for recondition. And the guy who... Um, got in touch and offered to do that for us, didn't want mentioning. Now, I've had a bit of time with him on the phone and I've since met his daughter as well and had a bit of a chat with her and he now has agreed to be mentioned. He didn't think it was charitable to be mentioned. He just wanted to do this for us for free. The fact that he's done it for See, free. I mean, it's brilliant that he's done it for free, but when you look at the amount of people from all over the country Absolutely. that are seeing what we're doing yeah. and getting involved, it's not about the fame, not about the glory, it's about something that everybody or anybody yeah you know is, is helping and contributing towards and this is just to pay our respect to that it's to, to show you, yeah. our appreciation yeah. not only that the level of your work what a talent you have this guy is called neil and his business is all gears in workshop wow Brent, just, have a look. Just, just just show can you just show yeah the the, the craftsmanship and the work that this this I is mean, a, everything you can, you can see the bolts you know, all the bolts, the gaskets, you can see where it's been split in sections. This gearbox has been completely stripped down and then rebuilt. I mean, it's just stunning to look at. It, it really, is beautiful, really is. isn't it's it? It's a work of art. <laughs> and we really, really appreciate, you know, the time and effort that's gone into that. Definitely. Now, at the end, you're probably all aware, at the end of all of my videos, I always put a collage of pictures um, so that you can see bits that you haven't seen that we've just not been able to film, but we've taken pictures. Neil has sent me pictures of this from the transformation, you know, and from the rebuild on the recondition of this box. And it's extensive. And, do you know, I love looking through the pictures. His yeah. work is amazing. There's some so awesome pictures. Stay tuned for the end of the video because I will put that collage in at the end. But thank you again, Neil. You've absolutely you, Neil. above and beyond. That is amazing. Thank you so much. So now what we need to do is we need to get this clutch on. We yeah. need to get the gearbox on. We need to get this ready to fit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the next step. Clutch on, alignment tool, everything's ready. Torque settings. Thanks again to Haynes Manuals for yeah. the torque settings. Yeah. Um, and transmission on. Definitely. Can I just oh. say? <laughs> Look what Craig's brought for Brent. This one, this one is my coffee cup. Yeah? <laughs> so I've now got a teacup and a coffee cup. Is that your special mug? This is my special mug. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> this, is, yeah, this is my special one. This, yeah, that's it. Only I'm allowed to clean it. 
Thank you very much, Greg. Thank you. Appreciate that. So, we are in the car today, not in Betty Blue, although it's sunny. Um, yeah. It's been it, some bad weather around It here. keeps hoofing down, doesn't it? Yeah. So, I don't bring Betty Blue out in the rain because. Why would you? Yeah, she's just too beautiful for that. Um, yeah, so Betty Blue is cuddled up at home under her little blanket. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to just go because nobody's letting me go. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so. <laughs> I've got things to do. I've got a, we've got a car to build. Um, yeah, so, um, not in Betty Blue. We are in my pickup truck today. Reason being is as well, the panels, so the bonnet and boot lid. Wings. Doors, wings. Whatever. Not the doors Oh, yet. no, the doors are still there. The doors are still yeah, at the workshop. Impressed. So I took the panels down to Paul this morning. Um, Andy Needham is with Paul. They are prepping the panels, getting ready for paint. So we're on our way now to the paint shop. Um, fingers crossed that they've got some of the prep done and maybe a little bit of colour. Yeah, we're taking them dinner. Do you know how hard it is to fight the urge of just opening one of these right now? Yeah, so Nick has been on site. Um, you'll know Nick from Twitter. He follows me on Twitter and his wife bakes us cakes regularly and brings them to the workshop. They are just the best. They are the they best. They are cakes. awesome. They are beautiful. So she has baked us a huge chocolate fudge cake today. Um, so I've had to cut that up so I can take a slice each to Andy and Paul. I can see it. Yeah, see we it. haven't had any yet. Um, we're going to wait till we get back to the workshop. But doesn't it smell amazing? Yeah, it's... I can't wait to try that. All right. Yeah. It's getting warm. We're baking in the Bahamas. I thought I was having a hot flush. We're not in a hurricane. She's not having a hot flush. I, I am. We're right. here. <laughs> Checking it out. Yeah, we're allowed in the paint booth. The Only for a short amount of time. Ever. Get yeah. quick. Only short. Yeah. So, you ready? Paul has got the wings ready. Look! You're shaking. I know. The wings. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm having to stand, stand on this one the same height as you. Right, so Paul has painted the wings. Andy Needham's on site helping Paul. The wheels have also been painted, which we can't show you right now, but I'll take a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Paul, come here. I love this guy. This guy's legend. a lifesaver. He's a legend. Thank you so much. Already to go. <laughs> so, yeah, Paul, good thinking. Andy Needham, his hair fell out overnight. <laughs> Convicts. Look at those. Awesome. awesome so we job. have wings painted, wheels painted, and the guys will now be full of sandwich and cake. Brilliant. See you soon. <laughs> so as we've explained previously, we cannot film everything. It's just not possible. But on the way back from uh, the paint shop, seeing Andy and Paul, we did decide that actually what we wanted to get done today was to make the get the gearbox and the, the engine together. Attack, attack. Well, yeah, literally attack um, and get the wiring yeah. loom fitted. Yeah, is what we wanted to achieve today. There, there are aims. Um, wiring they looming were, and yeah. engine and box together, clutch and that and everything ready to go. Yeah, so when we attack, we go a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got the bolts to hand still, Brent? I no. think I put them on your on that bench there. If we can get a couple of threads in just some of those. Should be in the uh, the box, the brown box one. Should be a full kit to the transmission. Engine and box are in. Wiring loom is in. Yeah. I think Craig took some pictures. So you will see a little bit of the process. We just needed to get it done. So wiring loom literally is in and fitted. Yep. Grommets are in. Seals are in. Engine and box in. Mountains are in. Yep. Engine secure. Rocker cover on. 
and obviously painted by Andy and Paul. I have got a sticker that's going on here, which is just a beautiful finishing touch, but I'm not going to put that on, obviously, until we are literally at the end. So massive progress. Now, we were still celebrating this, yeah? And then Paul and Andy turned up unannounced. <laughs> so let's come down here first. Follow us. Eh, eh. <laughs> So where we are is wheels are back on site. Look at them. Look at them beauties. They're stunning. My goodness me. We are absolutely thrilled to bits with these. Now, someone we haven't mentioned yet, um, because he's not really been on site while we've been filming. <laughs> it turns out that a lot of these people knew each other before. Yeah. They were and good you need them. Paul Wadsworth and Paul Wadsworth, Wadsworth's brother, yeah. Yeah, everyone knows him as Lal. Yeah. Lal has taken the wheels off site, he's had them dipped, he's had them powder coated. Now, to be fair to Lal, he's had an absolute nightmare. He's had a right battle with these wheels. Yes. Uh, multiple times they've been dipped, powder coated, cleaned <laughs> off again, redone seals that aren't sealing and it's just a constant, constant thing. So he's had a right battle. Yeah. Yeah, you know. the Ross style wheels, which we, we, we didn't know, was yeah. to bake that you can't bake them. And obviously, it's the, the two colours. Yeah. So he really has had some difficulty. The silver that you can see has been done by Lau. Um, and then Paul has taken over. He's done the black. He's finished them today. And look at them. Absolutely stunning. I did have to, like, I know, I know like, the car's still on the trolley. Yeah. But I did I have to match it up. Yeah, I just had to, which I'll show you now. So, yeah, it does look a little bit ridiculous because <laughs> the wheels are so small. Yeah, but it gives you an and idea. And Marshall's so awesome. tall. But it does give you that contrast with the wheels and the colour of the car. And it's exactly as I, if not better, than I imagined. I, I don't know, imagined even. Um, I'm not going to edit that out. You're used to me by now. And it's what time? Quarter past seven at night. <laughs> We have been at it all day. So wheels are looking fantastic. Engine and box are in. Yeah, engine and box is in. Wiring loom. Uh, everything's going to plan. We've smashed so, it out of the park. Of course we have. We literally have. Now yeah. the wings are back on site as well. The wings are just beautiful. Exactly the same quality of paint and shine on the wings. I, I, yeah, I, I did give in. There is a photograph of... Uh, yeah, I, we did nobody else wanted to fit a wing i just i just had to so we we have fitted a wing we're taking it off and putting the wings now in a very safe place yeah. <laughs> under a very soft cover uh, but these are the pictures of the wing fitted <laughs> you can see the absolute quality and how beautiful this build is it's stunning absolutely stunning paul and andy have just <laughs> They have just, done. It's, it's one of them cars that the more you progress with it, the more people's personalities go into it. You're just not going to want to give it away. It shows the talent of the team that yeah. I have around me, and I appreciate every single one of you. You have worked so hard, and I love you all so much. So thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. I think we need to head over and see how Craig, Craig and Nicky are still here. At this time of night, we'll head over and see how we're doing with Craig and Nick. Right, update time. Where are we up to? Well, I've got both seat frames now with the webbing on. Okay. And this one, I've got the back foam on it and the back board on it. Okay. I've had to put the headrest on. This has not been restored or recovered yet, but I've had to put that on to allow me to get the cover in place. Right. Because what it does is it lines up the centre of the cover. Yes. There's nothing worse than getting all that on and then finding the hole's not in the right place and then you snook it down because you've already got your cover fastened on. And while I was doing this, one of the important things with this is I put the foam on and then I put a plastic sheet. Oh, it's very thin, special. Oh, it's not a special plastic, but it's a very thin plastic. You know, yeah. we're using like a, a bin liner or, you know, a, a, a big building bag or something. You want something thin. So I put that over it, then put silicon on it. That allows this cover to slide on. Right. If you don't do that, you can. I can guarantee you, you're going to split it. Okay. It will tear up the seams yep. or you'll burst it somewhere. Okay. So it is important to do that. Right, perfect. So now I've explained to you how to do that. The next seat's for you. That wasn't the deal. 
Well, I just explained how to do it, and you that, went, yes, that's fine. No, that wasn't the deal. That was not the deal, Craig. Well, Nick you're is, here because on. you're the man that can. You know this. No, but Nick has just watched me do it. Yeah. You've just said you know, understood what I was on about. Yeah. So between the two of you. Wow. Uh, I, I'm restoration. Does he get cranky when it's late? Yeah. Yeah. I think he needs yeah. feeding again, Joda. Beer really? And, beer, and, beer and curry. <laughs> beer and curry. You should have seen the size of the cake he had later, <laughs> early on. The biggest slice of cake. Yeah. Um, it wasn't the biggest. It, was. it wasn't because it was a slice of the big one. If it was the biggest, <laughs> I would have had the other bit. <laughs> Absolutely. So regarding this, this, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about upholstery, but this doesn't look far off being done. Am it, I right? Or? Yeah, you, you're not, you are right because the back is the hardest thing to do and the back's nearly on. Right. So once this is actually slid on, I've just got a little bit more work to do on it. It's a bit cold in here, so it's difficult to work with. Yeah. So once I get this pulled down and on, yeah. the seat is straightforward. The seat literally glue the fabric to the foam, put the foam in place, and then clip it underneath the frame, okay. and that's it done. Wow. So one seat's almost there. Fantastic. And Craig and Nikki are back on site again next weekend. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully we're looking like we're going to be on. Well, we are on target, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, We've yeah, done yeah. really well today. All of us have made massive progress. It's, it's yeah, awesome. Because while I've been doing these seats, playing with these seats, you've got the engine in and the gearbox yeah. in. You've, you've done really well. Yeah. Brent, Brent's been in his element there, doing all his bits. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. A lot of you have done really well. Yeah, we have made massive progress today. But again, it's because of people like you, you know. I know I keep mentioning the team, but without these people, this build would not take place. It wouldn't be possible. Therefore, we wouldn't be raising money for Help Heroes, for our veterans and their families. So it's you guys that are doing all this hard work and bringing all of us together. Thank you. Yeah, I know that. But without you is what I'm saying. I couldn't do that. That this, this, yes, it's Auto Lass is the name, but it's the team yeah, around it's you me. That's brought everybody together. Yes, I know. But see, you can't it's, it's, palm, it's, palm all, all the credit <laughs> off on everyone else. <laughs> no, it's I can't show enough appreciation, and it it frustrates me because you know without it, it literally wouldn't be possible without you. It wouldn't. So I, I just I am full of gratitude right now for everybody that's involved everybody that's donated parts or uh, just everybody that's involved it's amazing and i am so grateful so thank you to everybody at home i am going to wrap it up now it's late we are so tired Wait, i do need people to get more tickets <laughs> oh yeah there, absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah so throughout so this video throughout this video i mean paul cowland earlier on in the video Craig he cowland. was to so i didn't do it again did i <laughs> <laughs> I, I I am tired, and earlier I did say Craig Cowland. I'm never gonna laugh. I'm ne you're never gonna let me live that down. Brent's laughing in the background there because he was the one who picked. Oh yeah, I am tired, and sorry, you know what Paul, happens. Said por sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're all tired. You are tired. Yeah. So uh, apologies, Paul. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of you and Craig at the same time, and it came. Yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> This is getting worse. Anyway, yeah, um, we were talking. I know I've gone red. My face is on fire right now. It's Craig. He does it every time. Every video I film with you, I end up going bright red. Don't blame to get me. people to buy tickets. I know, here, yeah, right? and it's all going wrong. Um, yeah, so you, you, you heard earlier when I was filming with Paul regarding the tickets. I, yeah, I keep drumming it into you. PayPal. You can go to PayPal. You can purchase tickets through PayPal. It's paypal.me forward slash autolast. That'll take you directly to my PayPal page. Tickets are £10 each. £10. And you can win that awesome car. Where else would you get an MG for 10 quid? You just, exactly. And not to that standard. And again, I'm not blowing smoke up our own backsides. But it, this car is going to be awesome. And I mean, unique amazing stunning a head turner it's a one-off chance to win this car even if you bought 100 quid worth of tickets and you won that it's a bargain definitely 100 percent. so there's paypal you can come on site you can pay cash if you don't want tickets i mean why would you not but if you don't you can donate i have a just giving page as well it's just div just giving wow <laughs> just giving.com <laughs> forward slash auto dash last you can donate on there to support us, which will then to support Help for Heroes. I am so tired. After, after November, we do it. We start another one. It's called Just Give Up. 
<laughs> yeah, it's very possible. Um, but we appreciate your time. We appreciate your support. Thank you for tuning in. Big love. And we'll see you again see soon. See you next week.